This is just a quick video on how to add and remove copies from items, both new items you're adding to your collection and existing items. So I'm going to start by adding a new item to my collection called My Books. I'm going to go to Add Items. I'm going to make sure my proper collection is selected and that the proper item type, I'm adding a book. So I'm going to search that ISBN number and it's going to look for that item. It's called Learn C on the Mac. It's found it. It says it's added it to my collection. But I actually have three copies of this book, so I need to add some more copies. So I'm going to view and edit this item. And I'm going to click on the Copies tab down here at the bottom, and it's going to expand. As a pro user, I have information. Um, I have a custom barcode ID for each individual copy of this item. I also have a condition field. Uh, if you're a basic Libib user, you're only going to have the condition information. But adding copies works the same. So I'm going to add two more copies since I have three copies total. It takes just a couple seconds, and now I've got unique barcodes for each of these new copies. They've been added to my collection, and I now have three copies. Well, let's say I lost a copy and I need to remove one. It's as simple as clicking the trash can and deleting it. I can add condition fields if I want. Let's say this one's damaged. And let's say this one is a hardback. And you can just click Save. That floppy disk icon will update those with that information. If I want to add a copy to an existing item, it's very much the same process. I'll search or browse to the item. I'll select it to expand it. I'll click on copies. Here, I can add another copy. So that's the process of managing copies within Libib. If you're importing items using a CSV file, you'll have a copies column where you'll put the total number of copies of the item and it will generate these for you during import. I hope that helps.